In the past 48 hours, Belize City has recorded three murders, the most recent taking place this morning in the vicinity of the downtown area. Joseph James, known to many as Tanga, was executed near the corners of Prince Street and West Canal as he drove a sports utility vehicle in the company of Mary Beth Wade. Norma James was waiting for her grandson at his house, but he never arrived. An hour or so later, a neighbor would come over to inform her of the deadly shooting that also left Wade injured. The neighbor come across and tell what happened. But I don't know what else is going on. I don't know nothing about the life or who, if anybody have anything with her or what. Has been a follow up like that, right? But that's all I know that either somebody made it wrong me find young, right? During the armed assault, the 33-year-old attempted to drive away from his attackers, but collided into a concrete fence on the other side of the waterway. The SUV tore a hole into the wall before coming to rest on the sidewalk. James had just left from the courthouse where he had scheduled appearance for a previous offense. In July of last year, Tanga, along with four others, including the Baptist and Greenwich brothers, were arrested and charged for brandishing an illegal firearm in a video that was shared on social media. This morning, we said that we are coming and come, come, come here and we can talk about something, right? Me and grandpa come and when we come back here, he then tell me say that he done gone a coat already. My girlfriend tell me that he gone a coat, so we gone and I tell the grandpa girlfriend we call and tell her that me and my grandpa the wait panna for when he come from court, right? So we said don't find man in the wait panna. The father of four, it is believed, was on the wrong side of town when he was ambushed. In October 2021, Tanga would become a viral sensation yet again when two women, including Mary Beth Wade, would go on a profane social media rant arguing over him. The online spot coined the popular expression entanglement. This was while he was purportedly locked up at the Belize Central Prison. But his cousin, who spoke with us off camera, chose to remember him for the caring person he was. Anyone that wanted anything, he would always find a way to help them. That is him who didn't know Tanga. That is the good part of him. We don't know nothing that he did. We don't know nothing that he do. People talk things about him and say a lot about him. But he's a nice person. He never show us no bad side of him. He have his friends. He have people that he always talk to. But his family was the main important thing to him. Notwithstanding his past, the James family is grieving the loss of their loved one. He really hard because you know what, if sit on the wait for somebody and for hear one shocking news like that, we sit down here to wait for and we hear our shocking news. And it's very hard and tough we can sit down here we can hear this, that this happened to her now. Really hard to me, hard. James's murder was preceded by another deadly attack on Thursday evening. It happened across town in the Jane Usher Boulevard neighborhood. 26-year-old Michael Lambe was standing on Carl Thompson Street in the company of another individual when a pair of gunmen emerged from the direction of Mud Street and opened fire. Injured. Lambe fell to the ground. His attacker then stood over him and completed his assignment before fleeing the scene of the shooting in a waiting vehicle. Police are yet to provide additional details on these latest homicides. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Cayetano.